Serving all of San Diego, this is your Fox 5 News. All righty, well, summer is coming and we all want to look our best, but for some women and men, I'm sure, losing those one or two inches from their middle is just impossible. Well, now a new plastic surgery tool promises a tummy tuck without the scars or the downtime. Hmm. La Jolla plastic surgeon Dr. Scott Miller is here to tell us about this. It's a new high tech tool you have there. This is good news for a lot of people who are, want to go under the knife, but you don't really have to. It's a laser, correct? And what is this called, doctor? It's a plasma blade, and what it does is we it can be used in a variety of ways, and it's certainly being used in many fields, including plastic surgery. In plastic surgery in particular, though, our patients are really interested in a quick recovery and less scarring, so it's perfect for us. We've been using it with a procedure called the Tiny Tummy Tuck, where we combine the new technology with artistic design to give women a flatter stomach with less downtime and less scarring. Okay, well, it's a very cool looking little gadget there. <laughs> little gadget, well, we have yeah. an animation now, so let's see how it actually works. Sure. What it does is it, it replaces a knife and the cautery. Because typically what happens is you'll make an incision, it'll bleed, you'll use the cautery to stop the bleeding. Mm -hmm. By then, blood's gotten into the tissues, which then, you know, causes bruising that takes weeks to absorb and also causes pain. This way, it cauterizes as Ooh. it as it goes through the tissue, so you don't get that blood in the tissues, mm -hmm. don't have to wait those weeks for it to absorb. You get less pain because that blood's not in the tissues causing distension. Sure. In addition, because it doesn't have the heat energy of a laser, because it's not a laser, it uses radio frequency energy instead of heat energy, it doesn't cause the tissue damage. By avoiding the mm -hmm. tissue damage, you get less scarring. So you get less bruising, quicker recovery, less scarring, and it's safer because it can't do as much damage to the surrounding tissues. Again, you're avoiding the heat. Very fascinating, I have to say. Now, you were telling me you've done, what, about 27 tummy tucks with this 27 so far? tummy tucks, 20 facelifts, and we've used it in a multitude of other procedures as well. So you can use it for facelifts? Absolutely. It's, it's, you know, again, it's a tool that we use to accomplish cutting and coagulating at the same time. So anytime mm -hmm. you're doing something where you'd want to make an incision and not have it bleed, right. you want where scarring is important, where quicker recovery is important, Right. This tool can be very, very useful. Now, what about the FDA? Has this thing been, been approved yet? Yeah, it was approved in 2007, um, 2008, in July okay. of 2008. So it's been approved for about 10 months, and it's, it's been out and about. It's catching on. Places are using it more and more because, again, in, in, in general surgery, in gynecology, and certainly in our field in plastic surgery, it offers the patient benefits. And that's really the key with any new technology. Is there patient benefits or is it just, you know, high-tech gadgetry? Before we get to the cost, um, the blade isn't so long, so you couldn't really do a C-section with this, or could you? Oh, sure, absolutely. They have an extended, mm -hmm. an extended tip. And the key is the blade is just a, a means of transferring that radio frequency energy. It's not a, it's not a physical blade. You don't, you're not cutting by pushing on the tissue and making an incision. You're just transferring that plasma energy to the tissues that makes the cut and stops the bleeding. So you're lasering through. Exactly, except it's not a laser. By using uh, precise terms, you wouldn't call it a laser because a laser involves different technology. So what would you call it? And a laser involves heat, which is really the uh -huh. key thing. This really delivers, it's, a, it's, called, it's called radio frequency okay. energy. Okay. And it really, to me, it delivers on the unfulfilled promise of lasers. You remember when lasers came out, everybody yeah. thought, oh, less scarring. That didn't really pan out because right. of the heat. Right. Okay, uh, let me ask you, because I'm sure there's some ladies and possibly some gentlemen going, well, I'd like to try that. <laughs> Does it make the, the cost of whatever those procedures are a little more, uh, a little pricier? You know, incrementally, not essentially, no, because what happens is the technology costs are offset by number one, the quicker operating times, so there's less time under right. anesthesia and in the operating room, and ultimately time is money, yeah. so the quicker the recovery. recovery. Right. In, in this economy, people can't afford to be down and out for weeks at a time. Dr. Scott Miller, I know what you're talking about. Thank you very much, very interesting, and if you want more information on the plasma blade or the tiny tummy tuck, if you will, just log on to our website, fox5sandiego.com, and we'll link you to Dr. Miller's web website as well. Sure, MillerCosmeticSurgery.com, yeah, yeah, and we'll on have there. all that information there. Exactly. Raul, thank right. you, doctor. <laughs> Good stuff. Thank you both.